is hitting history in black communities across eastern North Carolina, including the city of Kenston. Atkins Senior High School is one place with a story. It was the first public black high school east of Raleigh, opening in 1928. Disadvantages at the school led to a walkout in 1951, prompting change. WNCT's Courtney Allen explains. Many times we go back in history and we talk about this was important, that was important, but we don't have anything to show for what's important and we're just trying to keep it alive. Two days before Thanksgiving in 1951, a senior at Atkins Senior High School in Kinston walked into the secretary's office with a message for the morning announcements. When they said that the, the student had lost a red pocketbook, we were all asked to stand up and leave the classroom. The message over the intercom about the little red pocketbook was the signal students had been waiting for. At that moment, classes at the all-black school emptied. We had about 720 students in the class, and when it occurred, uh, I heard all this rushing. As students filled the streets of Kinston. They had to walk a long way because they walked all the way from here all the way down to Queen Street and then down to the courthouse. At the courthouse, students protested for equal rights. The school was in poor condition compared to the white school at the time, and many supplies were hand-me-downs from white students. The prejudice that was associated with us not having things that we should have had it opened my eyes to what the world was, is about. Felix Coward was in eighth grade when the walkout happened and says things began to change quickly following the protest. I was in my math class when I see a trucks coming in and uh, workers were coming in to add this building to the campus. During a time prior to the Civil Rights Act, protesting for equal treatment was a bold move, but it paid off for students. Within a few years, they received a brand new gymnasium, a space that alumni say laid the framework for their futures. Best thing that ever happened to us. It gave us a, a building to, to hold the student body without us being, you know, cramped. Made me realize that, that my future was a part of it, being an, an architectural engineer, being a, a college student. The education that I received here prepared me to compete at other levels. You look around the wall and see all these people. Most of these people lived in the black community, and they would not only talk about uh, the, uh, what we would call the essentials for learning, but also for living. They now hope the legacy of Atkins Senior High will live on. The board of directors meets a few times a year back at their old gym. Their goal is to get grant money to restore the building and educate the younger generation. I would hope that the younger generation would take away you don't get anything in life without a struggle and something worth fighting for is worth having. Former students continue their fight to preserve this piece of Kinston's history. In Kinston, Courtney Allen, nine on your side. And the story of Atkins Senior High's walkout is featured at the Smithsonian National Museum of African American History and Culture in Washington, D.C.